another example of an if then statement well this is a little bit different because you got to go through the loop until the statement or the condition is satisfied so the program is not going to get executed until this is not satisfied so if x is less than t we're going to keep through we're going to keep going back to 1 and if it's if x is greater than t or x is equal to 1 then we are not going to i guess execute the program so we, you you're going to understand what i'm saying when i go through this so x is equal to 4 t is equal to 8 so t So t is equal to t minus 1, so 8 minus 1, that's 7. So that's equal to 7, all right? x is equal to x plus 1, x is 4, so 4 plus 1, that's 5. That's five. Mm -hmm. All right? So if x less than t, so 5 is definitely less than 7, So this statement is true, therefore we gotta go back to one. So this is one right here. So this is one. All right, so we gotta go back to, to that and go through the loop again. So t is um, equal to t minus one. Now t is no longer eight, t is now equal to seven. So we gotta always use the newest value. So seven minus one, is that's six x is now equal to x plus one so that's five plus one this is equal to six now this condition is no longer satisfied so x is not less than t x is equal to t so this condition right here is not satisfied so we cannot go back to one so the final value of x is then equal to six so this is not really that bad but you got to be careful um, reading it especially when you're under pressure during the test